Hey guys, I'm going to do another tutorial today. It's only my second, so be gentle. Okay, so this is a really quick eye look. I've already done my concealer, my foundation, put mineral veil on, and I've already filled in my eyebrows. So, to save you time, I did that because it's very basic. So, um, this look is like going to be very pinky. I think it's very soft. Well, not soft, it's subdued. More subdued than what I normally wear. So anyway, the first step you're going to do is you're going to have to prime your eyes. And you can either use a mineral primer, a white primer, a skin color primer, or a bait or a colored base. Whatever you do is your pick. Just know that if you use something something clear or skin colored or white, you're going to have to put like a pink shadow over it, a very subdued pink shadow over it, something similar to like this color or something similar to this. I'm just going to kill two birds with one stone and quickly, for the sa for, to save time, because this is supposed to be like an on the go, very quick look, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Shadow Cream Shadow Paint in number 809 Lofty. I find that this works really well as a base. Um, because it really actually prevents my shadow from creasing. So I'm just going to apply that to my eyes. Do that just just to the brow just to the brow bone. Okay. Apply as mo as mo more or less if you like. Do it just to either to the brow or just above it like that. See, it's never it's not a very harsh line because it sort of blends into my skin tone, but doesn't. You can see a pink color, but it's not like wool pink. Okay. Let's do the same thing to your other. I just take a very small dab. Like I'm just using that much. That may even be too much. And you can either apply it with your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger. I heard that the ring finger puts less pressure on your eyelid. However, I try with my ring finger and I feel that it gives me less control. So with my index. So use whatever you like. If it ends up uneven, try and even it out. It's alright. So the next step is going to be to apply a purpley gray shadow. I'm using my L'Oreal uh, Very Natural Mineral Mineral Eyeshadow in Bare Spice, but you can really use any grayish, purpley shade. This is convenient. It comes with its own brush, so that's nice. I don't have to dirty up mine. Just take a little bit on there and just lightly dab it into the middle of your lid and then blend it outward. Spread it outward. Spread it. You can just spread it up to the brow bone, but just make sure it's not heavy. Focus most of the color onto your lid and up to your brow bone. And then whatever's left blends up. Sort of like that. It's okay if it goes over, it goes over. A new trick that I've been using is to apply some concealer over over the areas that have gone out. So I'm going to just use my Crystal Sense Camo Cloth. I have it in light. This one matches my skin tone perfectly. I'm going to take a little bit of that on my finger. And just blend it on the outside and make it whatever shape you want it. Yeah. Next thing that you're going to want to do, the eyes are done. 
as you can see, putting on a colored base really saves you one step. It's nice. Okay. Liquid liner. I'm using Elf Waterproof Eyeliner Pan in Black. This worked for me really. This worked really well for me yesterday. Let's hope I have the same level for today. So I'm just going to line. I, I crazy winged it out yesterday. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to line the lid. Make sure they're even. Pretty much look even. There's any bare skin under there to the lid. Just lightly fill it in so it looks all black, solid black throughout. If you want to add an itty bitty wing like that, you can. I'm really shitty at doing wing my. Okay, so now this step is totally optional. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a black eyeliner and lining my waterline. You can do this if you want, or if you don't, it's okay. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to curl your lashes and apply mascara. And now I'm going to take Elf's Clear a uh, wet gloss lash and brow mascara and just make so just to make sure that my eyebrows stay in place all day. I'm gonna comb upwards throughout this one. Get rid of any lumps, clumps or lumps. And just spread it throughout like that. Once you can sweep them up, comb them straight up like that and then just come through the side. Okay, that's a few final steps. Now you can apply your bronzer and or blush. I tend to use both, depending on the mood I'm in. So take a little bit of my Physicians Formula Bronzer on my brush. You can barely tell. This doesn't give off a lot of color. This gives me a nice glow. I'm going to bump it into wherever the sun will normally hit me. Still sheds, whatever. Okay, that, and then you can take a just a pink blush. I'm taking my Rimmel um, blush in Santa Rose number zero zero one. My blush brush. And the apples on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take just some lip liner. I'm using my Sugar Kiss Lip Pencil, the more nudish pink one. I actually really like these. As soon as I use more of my elf brows, I'm going to do a review on all of them together. Look at that. Look how easy it was to line my lips. Like, that's incredible. Just line my lips. And then I'm going to take just this dude red gloss. You can use red lipstick if your skin smells not as fair as mine. I'm using Elf's Candy Shop Lip Gloss Lip Tin and Cherry Bomb. Let's apply that. Okay. So basically, I am done. I'm done now. The product I use will be listed in the sidebar. 
If you have any further questions, like this is a very easy look, very easy, very subdued, not too intense. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a great day.